When Forbes magazine ranked New Zealand as the most friendly country on earth, it could have easily been considering the curious activities of some Latter-day Saints in Wellington. See all these books, all these people working hard, and the quality of what's being donated, I think is just awesome. As New Zealanders were topping Forbes' friendliest countries list in late 2011, members and friends of the church had been hard at work, joining together for a common cause, collecting and sorting through thousands of donated picture and learning books at this Latter-day Saint meeting house in Wellington, all destined for children living in a distant outpost. It's really important that we stack these nice and flat so everything can be packed in on top. Led by the charge of Eileen Mueller, word spread throughout the southern half of New Zealand and more donations poured in. It turns out New Zealanders have an abiding affection for their Pacific neighbours. We were in a meeting with the Fijian High Commissioner based in Wellington um, discussing a donation of sewing machines which was being made um, to Fiji the following week. And my state president asked her what needs there were in Fiji and she said she was always buying books to take home to the children. And so uh, we glanced at each other and a project was born and a year later, here we are. And where they are exactly is Bow Island, an isolated outer island of Fiji, a remote village community that once cradled Fiji's political and cultural identity in centuries past. But as times changed, Fiji's larger islands and cities like Nandi and Suva grew into tourism and commercial capitals with many different languages and nationalities, while outer islands like Bao have felt the separation. It's a reality members of the Church in New Zealand wanted to bridge as they paved the way and crossed the water to donate some 50,000 books for eager young minds to learn everything from language and geography to science and horticulture. Local church leader Taniela Wakola grew up in Fiji and understands the value of such a gift to the children. I was raised in the village. I was raised in a small outskirt community in Fiji. Library books for us was unheard of. Here, as the children seem to carry all the rambunctious enthusiasm of Bow Island on their shoulders, their older brothers and sisters carry off the very first arrival, caseloads of books from the village dock and up to the schoolyard that overlooks the bay that surrounds their remote village. It's wonderful. The most amazing feeling has been to see the children with the books in their hands, see their beautiful smiles, and hope that their education can take a leap forward in learning English language here in Fiji. Whatever race, whatever colour, whatever creed, whatever faith, you can still extend that arm of, of love that Jesus Christ uh, uh, teaches, as well as the teaching of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, where the gospel unites everyone. We had members of government involved, we had political figures involved, we had two local mayors involved who uh, donated the use of their premises and libraries um, to collect the books. We had newspapers involved, church groups, many, many schools right across the lower half of the North Island in New Zealand. Working with the Ministry of Education to divide 50,000 books among 82 different primary schools throughout the island chains of Fiji was a feat in and of itself feeding the curious minds of young students a clear reward to see. But to offer a heartfelt thanks requires something more. When I first heard this project, I thought to myself, if those contributors, if those who contributed towards this project, if those who initiated this project felt a, a prayer of appreciation, if they ever heard one prayer, I think that prayer was mine.